Thankfully, we don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, the northern portion of the storm system that brought all the wintry weather, though, didn't miss us by too much. It hit some spots like Champaign to Chicago earlier on today, starting to see snow depart there. If you do have any plans, though, heading to Chicago, watch out for slushy roads at times. As that system continues to move east, you can see hints of thunder snow in southern Michigan, and we even had that close to us at times. Uh, that is almost torrential snowfall, two to three inches an hour, enough to generate some lightning uh, for the worst of the storm. It's tracking into Michigan with winter storm warnings there. Uh, we still have some winter weather advisories on the south side of Chicago. So again, if you're possibly heading to Indiana for the weekend, just make sure that you're delaying your travel plans or paying very close attention to those road conditions in that direction. For us, though, it is quiet. We don't have to worry about any showers yet. Next round of rain for us, though, originating in Wyoming right now. That's going to scoot through into tomorrow afternoon and could bring some drizzly showers our way. Part of a much more spring-like pattern for this weekend. Look at the temperatures. Upper 40s tomorrow, 50s possible Sunday, and yes, the 60s possible on Monday. But we do have daily chances for rain and possibly some thunder with that. So We'll uh, definitely take both conditions as the weather heats up. So for tomorrow, here we are in the afternoon, uh, getting close to 3 o'clock, and you can see some spotty light rain showers. This is probably about all that we're going to see for Saturday. So on and off, light to drizzly showers going into the early evening. You can see about 24 hours from now, a lot of that rain over us, but then exiting quickly after that. So that won't uh, impact your weekend plans too much, but if you do have anything planned outdoors, later in the afternoon, be ready for just a little bit of light rainfall. So for tonight, we're dry, we're quiet, 27 for the low. Start of the weekend, close to 50 degrees under a partly cloudy sky to mostly cloudy sky in the afternoon. And then watching out for that a little round of light rain shower activity through those late afternoon hours. Then Sunday evening, here we are close to 7 o'clock. We're keeping an eye on possibly some heavier showers and even some rumbles of thunder between about 7 and 9 Sunday night. So Keep that in mind, too, if you've got any weekend plans. You hear thunder, get indoors immediately. We haven't really had to exercise that yet as we're coming out of winter, but that's the spring habit you want to be in going into uh, the spring months. Still seeing some rain showers through Sunday night, Monday morning, possibly more rain and even a couple rumbles of thunder. That all should be out by the time we get to about Monday afternoon. So soggy start to next week, but it is heating up. We're near 50 the next couple days and into the mid 50s at least for Monday. Beyond that, though, winter weather not done yet. 30s possible by the tail end of next week, along with a slight chance for some snow and your most accurate 10 day forecast. It's the cold air that ultimately wins out. You can see a lot of 30s coming down the pipeline. Not too many days in the 50s. Yeah, still some cold days ahead, Alex. Thanks.